excited to talk to you today about something I've been planning for a few months and that I tried a year ago but didn't really follow through and I'm kind of rebranding it so I'm so excited to finally be able to share with you this vision of something and content that I want to create and share with you guys to really help out um, anybody really but moms or wives or just the gals in general help us out and give us some direction so with that being said I am going to be starting a series called mama tried it will be on this channel I'm not going to create a separate channel for it but the series or the content for the videos is going to be called mama tried so this came about because um, I've had some conversations with like friends of mine and wives and other moms who we just really want to share and, and talk to one another about what we deal with. And sometimes we don't get that avenue, we don't get that outlook on other people. But bigger than that, I want to I want to share a little bit of my background in this clip in this video, um, just to, before we start the the main series and going through all the videos, but. I am a 36 year old mama. Um, I had my children very later in life. So I was 33 when I had our son and I was 35 when I had our daughter. So I was a lot older than most people who begin um, having a family and having children. Um, I'm not complaining about that. That was just the way our life journey took us and we'll talk more about that in these videos. But with that being said, I had to learn a lot. After I had Belle, I went into some severe uh, postpartum depression and began dealing with that very very heavily and in my past history and we'll talk more about this i have had very serious um mental health uh, struggles and so it, it took me really a good bit of time to get through postpartum depression and that began making me think about well we don't talk about that we have to be able to do it all we have to be able to handle it all and do that without feeling and do that without feeling overwhelmed and i think a lot of that perception is starting to come to fruition and people are being more understanding of those kinds of things so those are the kind of things we're going to talk about this the way that we're looked at or the way that we're compared to things the biggest series that's going to be first i'm going to talk about our infertility journey and you're probably thinking that makes no sense. Uh, you have two children. I've seen your other videos. Yes. Um, and to be honest, they are not supposed to be here. I was, I'll just share <laughs> a little now. I was told that I was never going to be able to get pregnant, that I was never going to be able to carry children. It was an impossibility for me. Um, and we were on the road, my husband and I, to adopting. And... The rest of the story you have to stay tuned for. Um, but that's what we're gonna do. This series and these videos are all gonna be all about you. It's gonna be all about us as women, and maybe not even women. Men struggle with mental health issues. Teenagers struggle with mental health. We struggle every day with all of these things that are put on us to be who is expected of us. We're, for example, for me, growing up, um, and you know, my generation, and then into my early 20s was look you find a job and that's where you stay and you you start that job and that's where you you just stay at that job until it's time to retire and you're supposed to get married have children and that's happily ever after well part of the part of the reason for my postpartum was when i looked at that although i'm, I'm extremely happy with my children and my husband and my family i'm not happy in general with my life and the way it has gone that's no fault of anybody's. Nobody told me to do it this way. Nobody made me do it this way. It was just the status quo of the time and, and what it was the expectations of you. So that's the things we're going to be talking about. But the first video that's going to go up on Thursday is going to be multiple parts. So it'll be part one of our infertility journey. I am planning to ask my husband to also be a part of it um, to get his side of things and how things work for him because as you know infertility is not just a journey of us as the woman trying to deal with it it involves a great deal of our husbands and i want to get that and hear that perspective from him for you guys to hear that so i hope you're excited i am so excited 
to do this. So again, these new videos, they're going to be called Mama Tried. If you see them, share them. If you enjoy them, make sure you're leaving comments and also then give me some ideas. What do you want to hear about as a mom? What do you want to hear about as a wife or as, as, a, as a woman? Or you know what, if you're none of those things, what do you just want to hear about? What do you feel you want to talk about? And I'm hoping that this all stay positive. You know, we stay positive together because we need a lot more of that in this world. So make sure you're subscribed to this channel so you know when those videos come up because they'll be on a bi-weekly basis and that could be on a Thursday, could be on a Tuesday. It just depends on how the fate of things take. Make sure you also hit that uh, like button. It lets me know if you're ready and excited as much as I am. And click on the bell for notifications so that you're ready to see these videos when they come up. It's time for me to deal with my two children. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.